This week on The Corner, we're going to look at Tronxy firmwares, both Chichu and Marlin, and we're going to flash them back and forth on this printer here. I'm so sorry. Next. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Corner. It's me, Jeff, and this week we're going to be looking at firmwares and bootloaders. Now, I did a video before where um, I showed you guys how to back up your Chichu firmware. Um, that's gonna be really important, okay? You wanna back up your firmware before you do any of the stuff I'm about to show you, okay? Because, yeah, um, Tronxy printers, all of their printers were on Chichu firmware before May of this year, 2021. Uh, around May of 2021, they switched all their printers to their blend of Marlin firmware, okay? So, and then they started to ship them all out. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to tell the difference between your Chichu firmware and your Marlin firmware for Tronxy. And also if you're not happy with your Chichu firmware and you wanna upgrade it to Tronxy's Marlin firmware, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm also gonna show you how with the Marlin firmware from Tronxy, if you're not happy with that, how to go back to Chichu firmware. Because once you're back on Chichu firmware, then you can flash community builds of Marlin, you can flash a uh, clipper, and you can do all that stuff, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit of a different video because I'm gonna have my laptop, I uh, put this on a table, I'm gonna sort of play around with both of them, I'm gonna see if I can get both screens together so you guys can kind of understand the process. But before you do this, please, please, please make sure you back up your firmware. You've been warmed. So hey guys, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video today. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna um, explain how or what firmware you currently have on your Tronxy and kind of explain how to go through the different firmwares. Cause currently there is the Chichu firmware for Tronxy. There is Tronxy's version of Marlin firmware as well. As of around May, 2021, they started to ship all their printers with their form of Marlin. Um, I'm currently trying to get the source code off of Tronxy. Um, I'm going to see how that develops after I send them this video and stuff because there was a couple of inconsistencies with what they were telling me as far as their engineers versus um, maybe not talking to the guys who made their boards or uh, who supplied the bootloaders or stuff like that. But basically in a nutshell, um, if you have Chichu firmware, you can upgrade to uh, Rhapsody's version or a customized version of Marlin, community made. You can even go to Clipper. If you have Tronxy's version of Marlin, um, you can't really do too much with it. So what you have to do with Tronxy's version of Marlin is actually flash back to um, the Chichu version of Marlin in order to install um, any other custom firmware. It's a community build of Marlin or Clipper. Um, is that's basically what's going to go on here. So I'm going to kind of take you through how to um, describe. I'm also going to share a folder with you, a, a firmware toolkit that should hopefully give you all the tools you need to flash back and forth through the various uh, firmwares. Now I'm doing this for the V6 board. Other boards may vary. Um, and again, Always flash your own firmware or do your stuff at your own risk. Make sure you have a, some sort of backup you can always go back to. Make sure you've backed up your firmware in some way, shape, or form. I do have videos on how to do that. Uh, I'll link them down below. Okay, so let's get started. So let me just adjust this because I'm kind of doing this live right now um, <laughs> for myself. Obviously, it's taped for you, but um, so Tronxy firmware. Okay, so. Let's go to the about screen. If you see a number like this that doesn't say your build and model of your printer right there, where it says the V1.4, this is Chichu firmware, okay? If it says um, XY2 Pro or whatever you have first, that's gonna be Marlin firmware. And I'm gonna show you that um, in a second, because that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flash over to the Marlin firmware, okay? 
um, the Tronxy version of Martin firmware. So yeah, so that's the about screen. Um, you can always check that out actually on the load up screen too. Um, here, let me turn it off again. So on the load up screen, what you'll see is actually at the bottom here, um, where my finger is, where you can't really see with the screen. There you go. Right there, it's going to give you a description of what your firmware is if you're on Marley. If you're on Chichu, it will not. We are currently on Chichu, so there is no description at the bottom here. Okay, it just says V1.1. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we are going to flash Marlin, Tronxy Marlin firmware on this board, okay? So I have this old board here. So what you're gonna need to do in order to do this is you'll have to uh, undo your boot pin, which is right here where it says boot. And then where it's the five volt here and the USB, you're gonna have to swap those over, okay? Now you're gonna do this a lot during this video, or at least what I'm doing, but basically you're gonna do these moves and you're gonna um, begin to flash firmwares. And then when you're done, you're gonna move them all back, okay? So this is just um, a bad board I have, but it will show you basically what you have to do. So um, you got your three pins, where is it there? You got your three pins right here. And yes, I know, uh, I shouldn't be pointing metal things here, but yeah. So it's the five volt and the USB. You're gonna to wanna to have this on USB when you're flashing. And this is your boot breaker or your, your boot jumper here. You're gonna need this off when you're flashing firmware and when you're running the printer, you're gonna want it back on, okay? So I'm gonna start doing this. I'm actually using my laptop and this right now and I'm gonna put them together when I put this video together. So hopefully you can see everything that goes on here. All right, so at the laptop, I put together this cute little file. Are you happy with your printer? Yes or no? Yes or no? Well, if you're yes, great, leave it alone, <laughs> okay? If you're not happy, what firmware do you have? Marlin or Chichu? So there's an included PDF here from Tronxy. I'll show you this right now. As soon as it comes up. Forgive me, my laptop is incredibly slow. Um, there are two kinds of firmware in our company, Chichu or Marlin. The firmwares used on the printer have nothing to do with the main board. It is impossible to tell what firmware is on the machine from its main board, which is true. Um, read these before you upgrade firmware. You need to find out what firmware your printer is using at the moment. Is it Chichu or Marlin? If your printer uses Chichu now, you can only upgrade the Chichu firmware. If your printer uses Marlin now, you can only upgrade it with Marlin firmware. We're, um, we're gonna challenge that, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Uh, there's two ways to identify the Chichu and Marlin firmware. Uh, the boot interface is different. Printers with Chichu firmware, uh, there's no boot information down here, okay? Printers that use Marlin firmware, as I was saying, you have the information, okay? Uh, under your system interface, if you go to system intro, as I said, mine was the V1 version that's on here right now. That is Chichu, okay? If it's Marlin, it's gonna kind of say your printer name and your, your version of the firmware. And that's how you um, tell. So what we're gonna do now is, as I said, we're gonna um, go printy printy. What firmware? We've already decided that we have Chichu firmware on here. So we wanna go to Marlin firmware. You see how I kind of put all these together here? Um, so if you want to go to Marlin firmware, uh, I have the Titan X2 Pro here and the, the no Titan. I have non-Titan version, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, again, make sure you back up, back up, back up your firmware. And I want to thank uh, uh, one of my um, people who subscribed to my channel. Um, he was extremely helpful in getting me all some of the information here and getting going. And I just want to say a big shout out to my Floridian friend. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, so there's a couple of things in here that you need to do, okay? Um, we're going to use this program here to flash. Um, but um, we're also going to, uh, if you need it, this is the USB driver. You're going to want to install this first for Windows or Mac. 
okay? If your computer doesn't recognize uh, your printer. So um, I have the version of the firmware that I want, as well as the uh, new bootloader that's going to be required to upgrade the motherboard to our build. So there is also instructions in here somewhere, I believe. So it comes with a tutorial. So your first step is to pull out the shorting caps. Uh, no, thanks. Go away. <laughs> okay. Uh, position on. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly what I told you to do. You're going to put uh, it on five volt. And you are going to remove the boot jumper. Okay. Your next step is if you need this driver, I've already done that. Um, okay. Your next step is to install that driver I just told you about. That's going to make sure it um, understands, um, talks to the printer board correctly. Then we're going to run the miscup setup. Uh, I'm doing this one. We're going to um, hit the Enum port. Oh, it would help if I actually had it plugged in, right? So let's do that first. We got port four, baud rate is uh, 115200. Then we're going to need the file that we want to um, download. So you're going to find wherever you put that. Um, I put mine on my desktop. That up. You're going to click here, the STMISP, and you're going to burn it. As you can see on the screen, it's already got there and it says no firmware to start. So we burnt the bootloader, but we need a firmware involved. Okay. So we're going to close off of this. Once it says mission complete, anything. Okay. Now let's just close out of that. So our next step now is we've done this step, the first step, this is all documented for you. Okay. And the fifth step is we're going to go to the update folder um, in position one back. Where is position one? Insert the SD card, insert the USB. Okay. So uh, here, I'm going to unplug it real quick here. Um, it says it wants to we're going to put the boot jumper back in. I know you can't see that, but that's why I kind of explained it to you. Um, connecting the shorting path, insert the SD card in position two. So what I need to do is take this little SD card out, put that update file on it. All right. Copy, and then we're going to paste. Now, this is all my old stuff for um, the original Chitu firmware. Okay, we'll get to that in a bit, but I'm just going to leave the update file there. I'm going to put the SD card back in, as you can see me basically fumbling around trying to do that without breaking the SD card port, because that would totally suck. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. Okay. So the shorting cap is back in. The SD card is in. <laughs> now we're going to burn some firmware. Now this will take quite a while, so
you get the Tronxy screen up. And it should finish doing what it's doing, right? Then we're going to pull out the shorting cap. Okay. okay, so the boot's on there. We're going to turn this off. We're going to go here. And we're going to go like this. Uh, as you can see, we have the boot there. We have a different sort of tone. We go into system and about. We got XY2 Pro 1.4. So this is Tronxy's version of Marlin. Okay. We also have, um, if you go into print, I don't have actually anything on here right now. Um, but the cool thing about it is that your Z offset, when you go into print and you get the options menu, you have an option for your Z offset, which is just wonderful. So they fixed that. So yeah, so Tronxy 1.14. So this is Tronxy Marlin on here now. So how do we go back? That's the question. It's cool. You have Tronxy Marlin. How do we end up going back? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, it's a bit different of a process, but it is very feasible. What we're going to do is we're going to end up trying to burn a bootloader. And if we open up our file here, what firmware do you have? Tronxy Marlin firmware. We want to go to Chichu firmware. So, Chichu update to stock firmware. That's how you're going to... Uh, here's your Chichu bootloader install. So, same sort of thing. We're going to use the Setup STMP Cube program. So, we're going to use that, okay? So, you're going to make sure you're on whatever COM port your printer's on. Your baud rate is 15200. You're going to make sure you're on UART. It starts off at ST-Link. You want to make sure you're on UART, okay? Uh, we're going to connect. We are connected. We're going to find our error connection. Okay, so every once in a while you will have an error. Uh, I usually just turn off the program and restart it. That tends to... Uh, get you up and running here so again we're going to connect we are now connected we're going to hit this sucker here we're going to go erase and programming we are going to browse and we are going to find our loader. Uh, we're going to make sure we do a full chip erase and we're going to download the file. Okay. Um, scroll down, start automatic mode. Uh, and get to the end time elapsed please disconnect device and connect so we're going to stop automatic mode at this point in time and we should be good as long as it completed okay so now same thing you're going to take your chichu firmware copy this all onto a card insert the card into the printer unplug your power supports move over your jumpers put this jumper back on here whoops and always be careful with these little guys they're kind of a pain in the butt some days i tell you i tend to use tweezers to get these guys mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And um, we should be good to uh, install.
So we had all our beeps. We got our Tronxy loading up again. Okay, now here's the problem. Like sometimes you'll get this error. What you're gonna have to do is, it says print. You see this bin part here? You're gonna have to hit that and just print that off. That should um, clean up the UI for you and stuff. You can also do it through Pronterface or whatever if you're hooked up to that. Um, yes, and then we're back, right? So then I just continue to print the all the other G codes to get my printer up and running. That one and print finally uh, this one here. That's finished and then print, uh, I got the bin the update CBD and we're all good, right? So if I go to system, info, see I'm back to the old Tronxy. So yeah, so there it is. That's the way to do this, okay? You survived, you survived, good girl. All right, so we did, I feel like, you know, it's like a hobbit's tail from there and back again, right? We took the Chichu firmware, we flashed over to the Tronxy Marlin, and then we flashed it back to the Chichu firmware. So as I said in the intro that you can take, uh, I'm gonna, I have, ch okay. I have currently the Marlin firmware back on here. Here, let's see here, let's turn you on, right? Got your little bootloader screen there, different tone, system setting, info. I have the Tronxy Marlin firmware on here. I'm going to play around with that for a little bit because I haven't really played around with it because I was told you couldn't do it. Well, clearly because of the community, you can, okay? Now, there's a few people in the community. Uh, Victor for uh, Rhapsody GitHub, who's managed to put the Marlin on the Chichu, which you'll need to back this up to Chichu to get a community build a Marlin on. So the other person that was really helpful on this, uh, Jason Nelson put together a great little document um, and a uh, file package of the uh, Chichu bootloader in order for us to be able to do that, to be able to get us from the Tronxy firmware back. Um, so kudos to him for putting that together. And again, kudos to the whole community. I know on the uh, Tronxy uh, wiki, um, a while back, they figured out how to put it back. They actually, uh, at the time, um, one of the admins was asking me if I would be doing a video. I just didn't have the time back then. Um, so it's been a couple months, but thanks guys. It's up now. Um, and hopefully this will help a bunch of people to understand how to basically take this printer. If you want Marlin on it, you got Marlin on it. If you want Clipper on it, I did a video on that. You can check that in the links. You can get Clipper, you can get Chichu firmware, you can get pretty much the main three firmwares out there for this printer, okay? So um, if this has helped you at all, give me a thumbs up. If you have a different way or a better way or a more efficient way to do anything, as always, leave a comment. If I've forgotten to mention anybody, I know I have my um, a person who I was emailing back and forth with to try to help me who would like to remain anonymous, uh, but I wanna just say sincerely thank you Appreciate it. Um, you kind of put me on, steered me on the direction to do this video. So kudos to you. Thank you. You know who you are. Um, but yeah, if it's, if you, um, you like the video, you know, give me a thumbs up. You're cruising through the channel as if this has helped you out at all. Click surprise, <laughs> click subscribe. Um, you know, um, grab an affiliate link down below, you know, a little bit everything helps the channel because if i start blowing through boards um i need to replace them somehow right so all right so everyone thanks a lot appreciate it okay and we'll see you next time